Over to you. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Go back well. When you when you are kicking to go to work early in the morning, that means two things. Either you have a very good job or very bad home. So if you if you are one of them, do many things. Doesn't want to be rich, famous, beautiful, slash handsome. And if you don't want to be one, don't do medicine. I don't promise that you will be beautiful even if you do medicine for postgraduate studies. But I will promise you that you will be rich and famous. And after all, you can visit the beautician many times if you have enough money to spend. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't, if you want to be rich, famous, and beautiful, do medicine. And of course. I accept there are many other ways of being rich, like running a network of importing and distributing narcotics, being a member of the parliament and robbing the central bank. And of course, you can choose some other specialty as well. If you choose from the first lot to run the risk of uh, dying early or having a small jail term in different pictures, and you to become the second lot. You will be bored to death. Ladies and gentlemen, do many things. <laughs> How do you enter the, the post registry menu medicine? Read the prospectus. And you have to have a recognized degree in medicine recognized by the SLMC and finish the internship. And you have to have one year experience in Sri Lanka after uh, internship. In a recognized hospital, and you have to have six months' experience in general medicine as an intern house officer or a full time medical officer in general medicine or related special. What are those related specialties? Cardiology, clinical oncology, dermatology, gastroenterology, nephrology, neurology, respiratory medicine, or rheumatology. And you should have the inward and out patient experience in first on-call capacity. So if you want to do medicine, choose one of them. If you are if you are done internship in general medicine, that's okay. But if you are not done, do a post-intern appointment of those to be able to be eligible for the, the postgraduate degrees in medicine. And you have to have a certificate in advanced diploma, advanced life support conducted by the College of Anesthesiology or the Critical Care Medicine. So how that the certificate ready because otherwise you will not be able to sit for the exam. The entry exam, popularly called a big part one, is held twice a year, generally in April and September, and it has two components, theory and proxy. In theory, you get the three papers, biomedical science are 60, uh, with uh, general medicine two of course, 40 and in Argus 30. Uh, we find that you are not that good in biomedical sciences, so read up the biomedical sciences, read up the prospectus, and find which books that you need to read. The pass rate is 50%. It's much better than all the other specialties, not because the paper is easy, it is because only the best attempt the exam. If you consider yourself better than others, just like I do. Do medicine. After you pass part one, you have to do a clinical training in general medicine for one and a half years. Where you get the good fortune to work with the best minds of the previous generation, not one of us. You will see different presentations of the same illness or same presentation for a different illness. It is mind-stimulating and invigorating. And every day, you'll be kicking to go to work. After first one and a half years, you'll start rotations in finer specialties medicine for further one year. 
during this time, some of some among you will start liking them. MD part two after two and a half years will have a theory and clinical components. The pass rates are among the best in postgraduate education simply because we train them well and they are the best among the lot. If you consider yourself best among the lot, do medicine. We will pass the D part two, you will be awarded MD in medicine and the post MD training starts. Which has a local training as a senior registrar depending on the, the specialty. You will have one year in general medicine, two years in cardiology, cardiac, uh, cardiac clinical, three years likewise. So you have a different length of periods in different subspecialties and once you Finish the local training, you go abroad, and the foreign training, you have the best job markets everywhere for medicine. And the referent trusts in UK conduct interviews for their vacancies coming to Sri Lanka with the courtesy of Ceylon College of Physicians, and most will secure jobs in UK. Keep your IELTS ready. And once you finish the post MD training, to be board certified as a consultant. That's when the, the real pressure starts. If you return back to the country, you will be posted as a consultant in your field. If you are in the one of the final specialties, you will be posted to the, 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 the furthest the hospital that you can be posted is the district general hospital, sorry, uh, yes, district general hospitals where the, the final specialist will work. If you are a general medical consultant, uh, uh, consultant in internal medicine, you will be posted to far away places in the country where you can sometimes open up your own wards, open up your own station, and uh, Build up it from the scratch. The prior practice is reasonable everywhere you go. You need only a stethoscope and a table and a chair. Now, if you have a nagging wife or a demanding husband, you will have the chance of escaping them at least for a period where you are at your workplace. As you return back on the weekend, the sets will be steamy, the food will be good. And by the time your spouse is back to the normal of his normal and the food becomes stale, you can go back to work. And good luck, ladies and gentlemen, and do medicine. Thank you. Thank you.